say my favorite lie. Do you like giving piggyback rides? What? Do you like giving piggyback rides? What? Piggyback rides. Do you like giving piggyback rides? Because you sure seem to give them a lot. Is this some kind of sick joke? Yes. And no, it's ad tech jargon. I'm reviewing our privacy practices, specifically our agreements with ad tech firms to share our audience data. Why is that? Because the California Attorney General's office is on the warpath to enforce the state's privacy law, and I don't need us being the next Sephora. I thought we took care of this back in 2019 before the CCPA took effect. I spent my Christmas on this. We did, but it seems we're sharing our data with companies that we don't have agreements with. What? How? Piggybacking. What are you saying? Okay, think of someone visiting our website as like them joining our Zoom meeting. Can't you do an analogy that doesn't involve video calls? I'm so sick of them. No. So we're on the Zoom call with the site visitor. And we ask them if it's okay for us to invite others to join. Invite who? Okay. And so that's like us asking site visitors if it's okay to drop cookies on their browsers in order to identify them and track what they're doing online. Yes, we then alert an ad tech firm that we've invited to the meeting that they can now join using the passcode that we shared with them. That way they can see who's in the meeting and help us find an advertiser who wants to reach them, right? Yes, but then let's say they share that passcode with another ad tech firm who joins the Zoom even though we didn't invite them. Oh, a Zoom bomb. Oh, I remember those. Right, those days were terrible. And that's piggybacking. It's basically Zoom bombing. So what's the fix? No more Zooms? Well, that would solve many of the world's ills, I'm sure. Although, actually, perhaps, yes. Seriously, don't play with me on this. Well, first we could ask the person visiting our website whether they'd like to join a Zoom or just do a regular phone call, you know, just the two sides. That way, we only create the Zoom meeting if we have the person's consent and we don't send out the meeting invite without having their consent in place first. So we don't even tell the ad tech firm that we have a person on our site or in this Zoom meeting. Like we don't even give them the consent notification that like, hey, we don't have consent yet, hold up. Or hey, wait to join the Zoom until this person says it's cool for you to join the Zoom. We don't do any of that until the person first says that it's cool. And if the person says it's not cool, then no Zoom. Then no Zoom. Dream.